Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is, yes, a third podcast that I am recording in the same day. Can you believe it, guys? My hair and beard has not changed. <laughs> and, uh, ooh, I smell. Um, but anyways, welcome back to I Am A Professional, I Swear, episode three. No, four. This is episode four. Um, we're joined by a, also, again, longtime friend, Fezzy the Frog. Take it away. Hello! Yeah! I'm Fezzy. I play Minecraft. <laughs> Pretty much. As you can tell from his API. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. He currently does not have a webcam because his cat, his cat broke his light. My cat broke my lighting lamp, so <laughs> I apologize. This is kind of weird. <laughs> it's okay. My first episode was recorded with video. It turned out I recorded on my laptop before I built my PC. Uh, mm. Like literally like two days before. I should have just waited. And the recording came out so bad that I just had to get rid of the video. <laughs> Yo, I've been there. I've been there. I, I'm gonna have to tell admired like, hey bro, uh, you want to redo that podcast? Come on for another one because you didn't get to yeah. your face. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. No, I just uh, I do Minecraft. I, I used to do Skyblock a lot. I still do it, but I'm trying to like I'm trying to branch out a little bit, making some strides in different directions. But yeah, it's um it's it's been going, and I've known I've known you for like a long time. Six like years. you've known me since. It's been six years. You've Holy. Known- yeah, because you know me since my Call of Duty... Um, COD, COD Zombies. COD Zombies. Yeah, you Custom were, Zombies. You were there during yeah. the World War days before... Bob that was a three. long time. That's, yeah, that was wow, it's been a... It's been... 24... Wow, okay. I thought it was like... Damn, all right. Dude, because you joined... Because your old... What was your old Twitch name? It was... Uh, my old name was like the Pro Noob? Mm-hmm. Or Epic Assassin Sam? One of those two? I don't remember. Yeah, it was Pro Noob <laughs> it, was, it was Pro Noob It was cringy, <laughs> but it was there. You were there during the very, very beginning. I even remember you made a song... I did. I did. I had this little daw. <laughs> and uh, uh, it's still up on YouTube, I think. Is it? I, I do have it somewhere. It's privated somewhere. I do have it. Right, I'm I know I do it. somewhere. Um... <laughs> but... I think I'm 90% sure I have it. Like, I'm, I'm 92. Points. 50. <laughs> somewhere in between there. I don't know. I think I still have it, though. I'm pretty sure. So you, if it you, didn't get you, stream, you stream Minecraft and other content, or is it just Minecraft? Um, well, I've tried doing other content. I even uploaded like a, a like a Call of Duty video at one point, just to try, but they kind of flopped. And I do it whenever I'm like really needing, just like I just can't stand Minecraft because it happens, right? I mean, like I play other games, so like I I've tried and it eh, it, it doesn't do very well, but I do, I guess, occasionally. I actually just found the song. <laughs> it's right um, here yeah okay yeah i'm gonna put that in the video um oh yeah also to anyone who wants to make podcasts let me just point this out to you these things are a bitch to edit just oh yeah out. yeah um yeah so- i run um i help host highcast which is a hightail podcast and like is that dude there's out? a whole team behind it like it it is they struggle <laughs> i know <laughs> they they struggle i'm i'm happy i'm not the one that has to edit it because like syncing and all that like and then like the 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 fact that it's like so long dude it's tough dude for i'm glad i don't have to sync anything because like right now i just have it all through obs Mm. and it's it's working so far i mean i grant i haven't gone to edit any of these but editing the first one was a pain in the ass um so okay why did you get into content creation so i've been trying to make youtube or twitch really anything mainly youtube though work since like 2010 October, like literally Halloween 2010, I think I made my first channel. Um, and I've been just trying for 10 years because at first I was inspired by the Shay Tards, which are um, like Shay Carl. He was like, he's like OG, OG YouTuber. He made vlogs. He was one of the big vloggers back in the day. He has fallen into controversy now, but back then he was cool. <laughs> um, and I was inspired by him. I was like a little kid and I was like, bro, I want to grow up just like this guy. Oh my God, he holds a camera. I don't know why I was so blown away by it, but I was. And um, at the time, I think, no, before I actually like, when I was a little kid thought YouTube was a virus because my old computer, (laughs) like was a box computer. My family had a box computer that had Windows XP on it and it could not open YouTube. It couldn't play YouTube videos. It was that bad. And Lord, I, uh, God, it was it was awful. But when my family got a new laptop and I discovered YouTube for the first time and saw Shay Carl and I was like, bro, I'm making a vlogging channel. And at the time 
I begged for like a little tiny like red camera, like not a red camera, not the company, but it was like a little red camcorder, mm-hmm. right? Like a it was color red, and I got it. It looked terrible, but I had fun playing with the camera. And I went I went through cameras like shoes. Like I broke cameras a lot, and they were, they were cheap cameras, thank God. <laughs> but at the time, because I was a little kid, I was messing with the camera. I'd drop it, I'd fall on it, you know, and it would the screen would crack off, and <laughs> it happened a lot. But um, I originally got in because of Shay Carl and. I uh, eventually kind of merged my way into gaming because Minecraft came out and it was like, whoa, <laughs> this is exciting. So, yeah. Cool. And uh, I'll hear that answer my second question. Who's your inspiration? Yeah. Um, so what motivates you to keep going? Because like, Actually, I have two answers. I can answer your second question. Oh, okay, cool. I'm a, I'm a gamer now, right? Like I right. play video games <laughs> for my content. So I was actually inspired. I saw my first Minecraft video from a guy named Jesse Place. Um. And he made a video, it was, I remember the title, it's like, this is the most terrifying game ever or something. And it was Minecraft when it like was new Mm -hmm. and he played it and he was terrified of like the zombie noise. He didn't know what it was. He didn't know how to break blocks. He was just like spamming his, his mouse, trying to break stuff. It was hilarious. And I saw that and I was like, bro, I need to get this game. And (laughs) I bought it, didn't know how to record it because but once again, I'm like a little kid, so I didn't know what the hell a screen capture software was. I pointed my camcorder at the screen, um, at a laptop screen for like, probably like a long time. For years I did that. But anyway, I'll let you continue with the question. I love Jesse that. Plays. Jesse plays. <laughs> so, yeah. um, now getting into kind of your ups and downs, and we'll touch on mm. this more later too, but what is your motivation to keep going? Because I've seen you go through your ups and downs. I mean, like, we've, oh, yeah. we've known each other for so long. You were yeah. a viewer back in the day, and then you became a friend, and, and we got to know each other, and I've seen all the craziness that Nick went up and down. So where was, like, the start of the peak, and then kind of where it started to drop down again? Was that with the Skyblox? Right? Yeah, that, the whole, like, the whole any up came from Skyblock. I like the the best stream I had ever had before anything Skyblock or my return to Minecraft or Hightail. Actually the the first peak was Hightail, but the first time I had anything that I thought was decent was like I had 20 viewers when Black Ops 2 was a thing mm-hmm. and I streamed it off of my Xbox 360s and I or Xbox 360 and I got 20 viewers. That was like the craziest moment for me cuz like 20 people it was a new year stream it was a new year stream i remember it was like the first black ops 2 stream of 20 whatever i don't even remember the year and um i got like 20 years and i was freaked out by it i was like bro this is crazy because i was still a little kid at this point like probably like 12 or 13 and um that eventually faded off and that this was back when i owned like five channels and i like was weird and I made a new channel every year and changed the name to like 2012, 2013, you know? So I never retained an audience because I was stupid <laughs> and I just kept making channels every year for whatever reason. Eventually though, I, I sat down and I made an actual channel and I made an attempt. Now, keep in mind, I was still doing the camcorder thing at this point. And it was, I think the first time I tried on a channel, like I was like, you know what? I want to make it somewhere was epic assassins creeper bad name um but i i made it <laughs> uh and i i eventually came across the um the idea to buy a capture card which is crazy and up to that point for anything on the pc i just i either used a camcorder or screencast matic but if i ever recorded on the 360 or console i had to use a camera um and screencast matic is like super old it's like such an old website People still use it though. Um, But I, I, the thing is, right, is because I was, I wasn't very good at what I was doing. I was learning, I was teaching myself how to use editing software. I never really had like an audience that was there. I, I had like streams that would get like three people, two people for like eight years. Like I, I literally probably have the longest nothing period on youtube you hear like a lot of these like big youtubers or streamers that are like i streamed to zero viewers for two years it's like all right i did it for almost a decade (laughs) (laughs) like i i and the thing is i kept going like i was so incredibly stubborn about it i I had arguments with my family about it i was like i was so intent on it because i had been like 
I, I can't think of a better word than like starstruck about the idea of being a YouTuber when I first started back in like, you know, 2010 watching Shea Carl. So, but the thing is, right, as you grow up, you have to assume more responsibility. Obviously, you got to pay bills. You got to earn money. You know, that when that time period came along, of course, I tried going to normal jobs and all that. I had terrible bosses and I'm lucky. I'm very lucky to be in the position I am right now because I quit like off of terrible bosses. Like if I had a really terrible boss, I'd be like, all right, I'm out a month after working there. So like <laughs> rest in peace your resume. <laughs> like, it, well, I, the thing is, right? Like I'm sure in retail that happens all the freaking time. So I'm not like devastated about it, but like they were terrible bosses that a lot of the times got fired after I left. So, <laughs> you know, whatever, but like it's, after when that when a point came along where it was like i have to start earning money and i couldn't do youtube anymore to because i had to progress in life i found myself in a like a pretty heavy like struggle i was like okay i gotta make a decision right now either i gotta like drop this go to college focus on that get a job i'll go to college pay bills and start a normal life or i gotta like take a jump and take a massive risk like to put in perspective right i had just i'm, I'm like just graduating from high school at this point and, you know, I'm skipping over some details for the sake of brevity, but I'm like just graduating from high school and I, I'm, I'm like ready to face the world and I have nothing. Cause I, I didn't really want to, I didn't try a ton in high school. It's not like I failed any classes. In fact, I actually got done with my credits early and left earlier in the day than most people, but I didn't try, like, I didn't do anything extracurricular. I didn't go to any clubs. I didn't even apply. I didn't apply for any scholarships. I didn't do anything um at all really that was like crazy so i just kind of walked out of high school with a diploma and i was like what the hell do i do now <laughs> i don't i don't i mean i could get a normal job i'm sure because the jobs that i did work i worked really well but like my bosses really sucked so what do i do and i applied for a college and i got accepted and i was getting ready to go to that college um and when i went to the college uh, or I, I, I went to the college, signed all the paperwork, got it all set up, and I had a scheduled day. They were like, come in on this day a couple months from now during the new semester. And I was like, all right. And I just didn't. <laughs> I, I just I just didn't. I just completely, like, brushed it off and didn't even go. And I I was like, I'm, I'm going to try to make YouTube or streaming work. Because at this point, I'm like, you know, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be a CS pro player. I'm trying to be a Fortnite pro player. I'm trying to be... A streamer i'm trying to be a youtuber i'm just trying anything um none of, none of it's working i'm still getting like two viewers on twitch um you just had 100 and oh, yeah at, this at is time. at that time yeah at the, at the time this is like back when fortnite was on top and i was only doing fortnite well this is the past like eight years previously but um right, right 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 up until that point it's been the same and i was like what do i do so i i this is where things get insanely lucky they get like it's it's weird so I'm sitting like, okay, my family is even okay with me giving YouTube a try for a little while. Cause like when I say I got bad bosses, I mean like they, they probably broke some rules <laughs> with, with what they were doing to so, like, it's not like it was like anything terrible, but like, for example, right. Uh, I worked at a job at, I, I don't even remember where, but my boss, like there was a weird policy where you couldn't leave. You couldn't leave with anything in the aisles, but if you wanted to leave to get water, you couldn't <laughs> because the aisle had clutter. So I like couldn't, and then they locked my lunch and the lock was broken and they didn't open it. So my food just kind of sat in there for a while. It was bad. Um, and I didn't get to eat that day. It was really dumb, but either way, I'm like spreading off into a million different roads here. So uh, you started doing, the, sky I started blocks. doing Skyblock. No. So Hightail, the Hightail trailer came out. This is what I mean when I was saying like, it's, this is the part where it gets really lucky. The Hightail trailer drops like the and it gets like what it's at like 50 something maybe 60 million views now like blows up and there's of course they're gonna, there's going to be all these youtubers that are trying to make news videos about the game because it's really hyped there's a lot of potential in, in like the algorithm for it and high tail news is a um is a search term that i looked up because i wanted to figure out when the game was coming out i didn't know anything about it um and i found a channel called Hightail News and I I 
I noticed that their their commentary was lacking, to, to put it lightly. Uh, <laughs> so mm. I, I I get in con- I join their Discord. I get in contact with the owner. Uh, there's two owners at the time. I get in contact with one of them. I'm like, hey, uh, I can do some commentary work for you guys if you want because I I don't you know I I don't have anything I'm doing right now. If you need it, I can help out. He didn't respond. Uh, <laughs> I I went to the other owner a few days later because I just remembered. Like out of nowhere, I was like, "Oh yeah, this thing. I should check and see if they responded." They didn't. I go to the another. I go to the next owner, and I'm like, "Hey, I just copy and paste the message over, and uh, I send them actually a podcast I did with friends uh, as a example of my voice and my my quality." And they're like, "Yeah, that's great. Do it. Let's let's do it. We'll send you a trial script or whatever, and we'll see what you got. And if it, if it does well, we'll bring you along." And I was like, "All right, cool." They send me a. I what I assumed at the time was just a script to see how I would do, but it actually ended up turning into a full video. Um, and the video came out, was received really well, and I was officially their commentator. I joined their Discord, I got their staff role, and it was it was cool. At the time, they had like, I don't know, 200, 300 subs. And um, I worked with them for a long time. Um, and wait, before I continue, what's your next question? Because it might answer it. Because <laughs> uh, this is a kind of a linear progression here. No, no, no. So keep going. You're good. You're good. Okay, okay, cool. So... I'm working with them and I'm making content or I'm, I'm doing commentaries for them and it starts getting traction. Like I remember they're this. getting, yeah, they're getting like hundreds of subs. They're getting thousands of subs. At one point they even go on the trending page. Like they, they, they show up on the trending page for uh, creators on the rise. And I'm like, bro, this is, this is weird. Like, and at this point we're going like, you know, we go a thousand, 5,000, 10,000 subs, 15, 20,000 subs in like a couple months. This is crazy and I mean even YouTube acknowledged how fast this was growing because they tweeted it out like I said they got on the training page so I'm freaking out but somewhere in the middle of all of this growth they start kind of stressing out because these owners are still in school so like they don't have time to edit these videos and we want to get a video out every day because we want to keep this growth this momentum going and, and they can't edit their videos um so I'm like okay look I've been doing YouTube for a dummy amount of time. I know how to work my way around an editing software. If you need someone to edit and commentate, I'll do it. And they were a little wary about, uh, wary about it, but I, I did it. They sent me um, a script. I read it. I made the video about it and the video blew up. It got like 10,000 views or something. It did really good. And um, they were like, okay, yeah, you're our editor now. <laughs> uh, and I was like, all right, cool. And so that way, so then I became kind of like the the face of Hytale News. I didn't write the scripts, but I I read them, I did the commentary, I edited the videos, I uploaded the videos, I made the thumbnails, I did the SEO. I was running that channel for the most part. Um, and then just to kind of skip, because there's a lot of drama that happened. I'm sh- you remember. Yeah, I'm I was sure. part of it. <laughs> yeah, there was, you were? You were. When? Yeah, I was, because I was a writer. Remember, I oh wrote my God, one I script. I, oh, that's right. Oh, I mean, I was man. a writer and then everything went down and I was like, ah. I'm good. Yeah, so to skip over a lot of that, because I don't want it to resurface, because it's awful. But yeah. in, to put it lightly, Hytale News turns out to be some scumbags. <laughs> they scam me, essentially, of, like, pay. And at the time, I'm cool with this guy in Hytale News. At the time, I think his name was, like, Why Not? But he eventually changed... His name is Anthony. He's He eventually changed his name to Scarecrow, which is what everyone knows him by now. But he changes his name, like, every month. Uh Anthony <laughs> and he gets in an argument before I leave Hytale News and leaves Hytale News and um, he warns me like bro they're corrupt and I, I didn't believe him at the time I brushed off what he was saying and eventually when every all this crazy crap goes down and I'm not cool with Hytale News anymore I end up, I end up leaving uh, I'm crushed at this point because right like I've been doing this seven eight years at this point with no pullback no like chance and then all of a sudden i work on this channel and it gets up to like 30k subs and i brought it up from like two three hundred or something and and it's i'm like crushed because right this is like something i've been wanting since i'm 10 years old so i'm i'm like freaking out and and then scarecrow is like look if you want you can co-own horizon with me and and it's it's spelled weird it's Mm h-y-r-i-z-o-n because hightail and He's like, you can call on Horizon with me. We can run this together and um, we'll give it a shot. And I'm, I'm like, I, I give it a couple days because I'm like, I'm like, I need to cool off. Like, this is, 
it, it was a very stressful month or so and i'm i, I accept obviously <laughs> and um i i i work with them and this channel's at like 50 well, no it's not like 20 subs when i join it it gets to like 100 in a little while and the growth is slow and it's it's not there and and the thing is right like high tone news was earning ad revenue i didn't get paid any revenue that i made for them so i'm not even earning money to bring to the household at this point so i'm like i'm losing my mind me and anthony have some of like the latest nights conversations we're up until like the sun's up talking about how stressed we are about this because life is hitting us both at this point like life is is showing up at our door like hey where's your money <laughs> and and we don't have anything to show for it and we're like okay something's got to happen um and it doesn't so no, no, something doesn't happen for a while we're, we go for like i think a month or so maybe two months maybe three i don't remember this is all a blur because it, it was so intense but um eventually um with throughout all of that drama we had with hightail news at the time um someone named 30 virus was another community uh he's a he's a guy but he had a whole hightail scene by himself on his own channel and he saw what was going on and he heard me um talk about all of the crap that was pulled um with all of that drama going on and and he felt bad for me <laughs> so he shouted out horizon and at the, at the channel the fezzy channel that i own now was called horizon that was the horizon channel and um he shouted it out and it brought like 400 subs and like hundreds of views of video and i was i was like bro <laughs> thank god something might happen it was showing some growth the algorithm was paying attention we were getting some views um and at this point even my family is like they're not pressuring me a ton because they're seeing everything that i'm doing right and they're like and all of this crap going on they're involved like they, they hear me talk about it all the time so, so when a little bit of progress happens even they're okay with it <laughs> um and and then um it starts dying again and i'm just gonna for the sake of brevity again say 30 shouts out the channel like a million times he, he is like keeping this thing on life support for like months and eventually it gets to the point where 30 30 at this time is in college and he um he's starting to run into issues with his editing he's in school just like you know like before this is like a mirrored situation almost except he's not a scumbag um <laughs> he uh he's in college and he's having trouble keeping up with with editing sometimes and i'm like hey you saw what i could do with high till news i made some great stuff with horizon i can edit for you if you really need um and at first he said no <laughs> and um because he didn't you know there's, there's this whole like trust thing with editing that a lot of yeah. youtubers have which is perfectly understandable like you know makes makes sense but eventually i i come back to him this is a while later i'm like he, he's having the same problem and i'm like i'm telling you <laughs> I'm here. I could do it. And he's like, okay, we'll give it a shot. And like, for the sake of transparency at this time, like I'm so desperate for income. We said, and the thing is, right. He's not earning a ton of money off of his channel either. Um, I'm working, uh, for like $10 a video <laughs> and I was originally going to do five. And I came up with that, by the way, I don't want anyone to think 30s <laughs> like a bad person. I was like, Hey, I'll do it. $5 a video. And he's like, no, I'd feel terrible. All right. We're going to do 10. <laughs> at least and, uh, it is obviously grown past that at this point like this is my job at this point but um we, we do some bed wars commentaries uh and his normal videos uh, this and that and i'm earning a little bit of income now i'm earning a little bit of money so like things are things are looking up and of course there's the promise of the pay going up as the channel grows makes sense um and eventually uh this is a little bit after i start full-time editing for him um high high pixel releases their game mode skyblock and me and 30 of course have been talking a lot up to this point so we're getting we're, we're like friend acquaintances like we're not fully like cool with each other we're more business partners at this point because i'm editing for him mm -hmm. um but then high pixel skyblock comes out and up to this point i was talking to him about doing a series with him um on youtube and he um he actually didn't want to do skyblock at first but i eventually convinced him to give it a try and we know what happened uh from that point forward skyblock blew up both of us um and i edited for him i and i'm editing even i'm still editing for him that that's not i don't see that going away anytime soon and the channel blew up and then um yeah, it, it, yeah the rest is history 
he's at like 200 something thousand subs he was at like 40 50k when i first started editing for him and then everything blew up and now he's at like 200 something thousand it's crazy what so happened that sums up your your history which is pretty much insane yeah. dude um and <laughs> the question started with <laughs> what is your motivation to keep going i mean now everyone understands like all the shit you went through it's so, literally just like i have to i want this so bad that i deal with like anything for it even yeah, that stuff, same so, yeah. same i, I yeah i feel that man yeah so okay so skyblock died off for you because you just well, it didn't die off but you stopped posting it so you yeah. stepped away from youtube and then you went to twitch um how and then like i said i saw you at 100 viewers on on stream and you're you about to hit partnership did it did you have to grow that twitch because you earlier before the call you said that you had just started streaming on twitch again um yeah that's like this month last month recent like frequently streaming on on twitch this is very recent stuff so the your reason... audience from youtube came over to twitch right uh okay. so basically what i did was um to, to, to put it in perspective I, I i was a skyblock youtuber and i at, on youtube i was getting like 300 viewers to stream at one point i was it was freaking crazy and eventually though uh we kind of ran skyblock dry because the thing is this game is still being developed as we're doing it so there's not all the content that's going to be in the game is not there yet at all um and we ran it dry for me at least i didn't know what to do with it 30 on the other hand he um, he's running his series and he's, he's still going, he was still going pretty strong at the time, but for me, right? Like he, he's okay with sitting there for eight hours, mining pumpkins. I am not, <laughs> um, I, I don't, I don't have the patience for that. So I, I was like, okay. And at the time I was streaming me doing dragons, which is this popular thing in skyblock. And, um, I eventually got bored with that. Cause that, that method didn't wasn't making money in the game anymore. Um, I got boring. I got bored with the game. So I started doing other things. I wanted to do like Bed Wars commentaries. And um, I mean, to put it in perspective, right? I had that video that blew up from Skyblock. It has like 98,000 views right now. And the Skyblock videos before that got like 15, 20 K each. These videos started getting like 4,000, 5,000. Um, and it's still on the decline right now. I haven't uploaded in like two weeks on that channel. Um, and even when I stream on YouTube, I thought maybe, okay, maybe people just want to see streams from me on YouTube. Not even there. I got like 40 viewers to stream on YouTube, um, which compared to 300 at the time is a massive drop off. So that's almost a 10 times decrease. You know what I mean? So <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna up to this point, right? 30 has been like growing his Twitch channel and we noticed that people on Twitch are like way more loyal than YouTube viewers. Oh, oh like yeah. they come back. YouTube viewers will leave at and any given you. opportunity. They will leave and forget you. Twitch is not the same. People come back and so I was like, okay, I'm going to make my push for Twitch. And I started shouting out my Twitch a ton on YouTube and I had like 50 people over on Twitch. 60 eventually got to 70 um and I, I, yeah like i said like i was getting like 40 on youtube so i was getting more viewers on youtube or on twitch than on youtube which is like weird even for me now like i still think that's weird because everyone was over on youtube but you know that goes to show you how much more loyal twitch viewers are oh yeah 100 um, I mean, yeah and dude look at look at us <laughs> <laughs> yeah we, we met on twitch. Honestly, yeah we met on twitch like oh, that's crazy it's been six it's been over half a decade that's crazy um and my channel has not moved <laughs> uh if i ever blow up i'm bringing everyone with me i just want to throw that out there okay, that, bet. i can probably whatever, use help i think i shot that, myself that ever happened times. Uh, but not only that but 30 and a lot let's see up until this point i haven't actually talked about uh, this person in this whole storyline before uh, there's someone named hbtv his name is brett he's a good guy he um he decided one day to organize this youtubers thing and me and 30 were hesitant me 30 and a, a couple other youtubers were hesitant about it because we had known brett a little bit at this point we were cool with him um but we didn't think anyone would really care about a discord just to have a bunch of youtubers in to talk about um but you know we conceded because brett was very adamant about it and um Oh, Discord broke. Like there is oh, the is. owner of Hypixel in there. There's like Beijing Canadian in there. And like a whole bunch of Skyblock YouTubers, a whole bunch of Hypixel YouTubers. It is blown up. That that twit that you that uh not YouTube channel, that Discord server has blown up. And um 
uh we're all cool with each other like like everyone in there is like super cool they're getting calls all the time and we're like chill and we raid each other <laughs> so that that like really helped my twitch channel i get raided by 30 i get raided by you know like yesterday i got raided by rage train uh and i get raided by a good amount of the people in there and we raid each other so like it's a it's a good community and there's a lot of viewers that watch that community so we kind of prop each other up it's cool yeah, it, it, and that's it's why i've been able to pull viewership on twitch is because everyone kind of is looking out for each other in a way now and um Y'all been yeah too much it's shit. really cool it's really cool um we are only on our because like question. it's it's crazy how lucky i got with everything and now editing for 30 is my job because 30 blew up so now i'm getting paid more obviously and um well, that's my job and twitch makes a decent side up. income now uh of course a whole 11 dollars <laughs> no i can be transparent about it i'm liking like 75 a video now that's um not that's not bad at all no. and um that's my job because i get that every i edit a video every single day for the guy so uh and of course i still earn income on a little bit on youtube more so on twitch now there's been there's so many generous people on twitch twitch oh, is yeah. so much more wholesome <laughs> than youtube it's crazy um and Twitch is making a decent income now. So like now I actually have a life <laughs> to maintain, you know, and I, I bought myself a whole new system and this whole new setup and this microphone, you know, and I was gonna say, it's you been sound nuts. crispy. You sound yeah, really I, I, I bought a Go XLR and I have an AT2020 hooked up to it now. And I did a lot of EQ work with it. And all of this just happened in like a year's, a year and a half's time. Like it's, it's crazy how much changes all of this crazy stuff changed within a year uh this last six months has been pretty much me editing for 30 things have been the same but you know things are on the up and up for, for 30 and me so it's just been the gradual uh growth of things so but like everything crazy happened within like a year and uh, like, that's that's how it happens you know you go yeah for a long it just time flips and it on just, a dime it just doesn't yes yeah, it very, just flips very rare that it's a gradual growth yeah um and it, it's crazy it's 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 absolutely insane so what, what's happening throughout all of this that's been going on now that we have your whole backstory um yeah which i've been meaning to ask you what the fuck's been going on <laughs> yeah uh, and i thought ah, might as well just yeah. bring him on the podcast why not um who's your biggest supporter through all this my biggest supporter like viewer or just person in general, in general. who's the biggest well, person like cheerleader. technically my biggest supporter would be 30 <laughs> uh because he 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 raises me all the time he helps me all the time um of course i help him obviously i make the videos so like it's it's hand in hand but in the public view 30 like basically carries me even though like it's it's even in the background but yeah um, yeah yeah technically yeah it would probably be 30 and everyone else in the creators discord of course my viewers they're insane some of them have stuck with me through like everything like div up there's brandon uh just to name a few there's like forbes and i'm i'm, I'm coming up on a blank with the names now i know all your names if you do see this video <laughs> i do and if i didn't call you out i'm sorry but um you know who you are and god it's crazy bro it's insane yeah there, there's you, some you, your family too, ride or die people and and those are the ones you really gotta oh yeah I you mean, know cherish because those are the ones that'll stick with you and your family too because you mentioned your family was like supportive but also like hey don't don't so they were realistic it's yeah. not like they were it's not like they were not supportive i mean they were supportive enough that they bought my first gaming computer to do this with so you know but they they were realistic about things they were like you know you, you gotta make money <laughs> this life They're, your life is gonna make you make money so you, you gotta make some money or this has gotta go or this has gotta work um they were realistic about it and you know that's that's fine i mean they they in in the end they still gave me the room and time to get to where i am now so and you've made you know, it technically I, I'm, like, I've, by my standards yeah. you've made it uh um, i'm making a livable income off of it so i've made it in my eyes too so <laughs> and yeah yeah that's the goal um is it as rewarding as you thought it would be like when you yeah yeah <laughs> uh in the because like i've never had a, a huge i've never pictured myself being in a massive place like i still don't think i'll ever be like 300k subs a hundred thousand views a video i don't i still can't fathom that i can only really I can see it. it when i hit it like and it's rewarding in the sense that like just making a livable income because i live in a place that like sucks for income like everything is retail everything is like borderline minimum wage so like the fact that i can earn something the fact that i'm making a like a livable income and i have someone there to watch me after 
in October this year, in two months, it'll be eight years or 10 years. It'll be a decade of trying. Finally, something happened. That's what I'm grateful for. You know, I don't need, I don't need to own the world. I don't need to own, own the internet. I just need my peace, you know, so. I just need my little Skyblock <laughs> Island. Yeah, I need my Skyblock <laughs> Island. I need my, my, my Twitch channel and my, and my, my high tail. That's all I need. I don't need the world. <laughs> so in your experience, I mean, you've met obviously lots of creators. You've seen ups and downs. You've gone through them yourself. Do you yeah. think anyone can be good at this slash can anyone do this? Anyone do this? So like it, it's like, kind of like two questions. It? Yeah, like can anyone become a content creator slash can anyone be good at this? Like two different. Let me put it in perspective. Literally, yes. <laughs> uh, if if I can make it, and trust Let me, me if I can make it. Literally, yes. Like literally, like you hear people say, "If I make it, you can." No one means that more than me. Like to put it in perspective, I like barely tried in high school i i didn't even go to my damn graduation ceremony i walked into the office grabbed my diploma walked out like i am not an overachiever if anything i'm an underachiever i am 20 years old i don't even drive okay i hadn't i had like several jobs that i quit on i didn't make an income when i graduated i was a loser when i graduated high school i didn't i didn't have anything and but i kept trying i did not i took it took eight years to even get the little piece that I have now to see anything happen. So like, yes, anyone can do it. <laughs> like, I mean it more than anyone when I say, if I make it, you can. So, That's awesome. yeah. Uh, what would you tell people would, you know, if they're trying to get into it, you know, if they've never streamed before, never made content creators or content before, what would you tell them to do? Don't make the stupid mis decisions I made. Cause the thing is, right. I made, I took so many risks. Those risks could still bite me in the ass future from now. Like I, like I said, I, I quit jobs, uh, because of a bad boss. Um, and I, then again, I, I worked really good at the jobs I did. So I don't think I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. That's not <laughs> the topic, but, uh, don't push YouTube. If you're really, or Twitch or content creation, if you're truly passionate about it, you'll know to never stop i mean i don't have to tell you that you're in the same boat i am yeah. you're not gonna stop but don't give up have some eggs in other baskets because i got lucky i got lucky that i threw everything at this and it happened to stick even though i paid my dues i still went eight years with nothing so um just be smart about it if you if you have something going for you like if you're doing well in high school you might get a scholarship or if you're in college and you're doing well and you're going to graduate soon do it because you need it's good to have a backup plan because i don't i don't have a backup plan um and and trust me there's a lot of stress that'll be taken off of you in the future uh if you have something that you can fall back on and i mean sure i, I mean there's always a job to land yourself on but you don't want to be you don't want to be depressed at your workplace so get a normal life i think on the side of it and once YouTube starts blowing up, once like you start realizing, oh my God, this might be it, then sure, all in on YouTube. That's kind of how it works. You know, there's so many college dropout stories for YouTubers that like they were doing college and they were doing a job, but then YouTube blew up and then they quit. Yeah, you can do that, but don't be don't be stupid about it. <laughs> you know, don't don't be like me. <laughs> that's that's all I can say. Be careful. Be wise. Um, so, because not everyone gets lucky. So. Yeah. Okay. That's good advice. What, what was the biggest drawback that you had in in your career and how did you overcome it? The biggest obstacle I had was the websites itself. Uh, Twitch is not a discoverable platform. Um, you can't be found on Twitch if you have a low viewership. I know I sat there. <laughs> uh, you know, too. I mean, yeah. you're in this. Yeah, like everyone knows, like everyone, all of my friends know, everyone that's like a small Twitch streamer knows, like you're going to sit for a while. Um, and YouTube's algorithm is the worst. It's it's the most predatory thing. It, it I know I know a pretty good amount about it, and it is awful. <laughs> it does not like like for example, if you're a niche YouTuber like me, like you look at my channel as an example, it'll drop you if you start driving away from what works. If you want to like you know, so the biggest obstacle isn't like making the videos necessarily or like doing the streams. It's just being discovered by people is like god it's so near impossible and dude i, I got lucky <laughs> i got lucky that's the thing i i can't really have advice because this is a lucky man's game um 
I, I mean, then again, I worked my way through hell to be able to show 30. Yeah, I can edit. You know, you saw what happened with Hytale News. I had that, that had to happen for 30 to see that I could edit for him to trust me enough to edit his videos. But the way I see it, you need to be persevering enough to sit in nothing until something happens. Um, because that's just kind of how it works. It, there's no method to the madness anymore. And you'll, you'll see a lot of YouTubers and a lot of people on Twitch that'll give you the like advice of like be determined be happy and don't do it for money well that's not realistic life you need money all right like you're gonna like people are like do it for fun no if you want to do it as a career you got bills to pay so like you got to look at it as a, at, at a business perspective um for sure it and you got to understand that it's lucky and anyone any big streamer that denies that doesn't believe that they were lucky even though they were like it yeah. everyone got lucky um so and I can say that. <laughs> bouncing off of that, what was? Do you remember the moment where you said I can make do this full time? And what was that like? <laughs> there was never a moment when I didn't. Uh, that's what I mean, where I say don't do what I did. Well, no, wait, like okay, so like you know, because like recently, right? You you started to blow up. Your your brand's really growing. What was the moment where you sat down and said, "Holy shit! Like I've, I've made it. I can do this full time. I did it." Um, yeah, like money wise. Like, within yeah, like money wise number wise within like a year ago like when i started getting paid by 30 and i was earning enough to keep my keep in my house uh in my household with my family i was like all right this is it this is all i need um for now of course it needs to grow because i'm gonna move out eventually mm -hmm. i need to support my own self but and it's grown to that point um at the point where i i i bought myself the time to keep going is when i thought it was enough because you need to buy yourself time in the, in the world. Like you need to have enough money to pay the bills to do it longer. Right. Yeah. Um, and that once I started contributing enough that that happened, that I bought myself the time to keep going, I knew it was, it was going to happen and it's only gone up from there. So of course it's still stressful. We still run out of content. We still see dips sometimes. And it's like, Oh my God, is this where it falls apart? Cause I have trust issues and I'm the most paranoid person ever now <laughs> after everything that's happened. So, oh my God, um, for real. it, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's just, it, that was the moment when, it, when I think it happened. And now I'm, I'm, I've settled into it and I'm like, okay, this is my job now. Um, cause eventually, you know, you, you, you settle into it, you get in a groove and here I am, you know, here you are telling your life story on the podcast. This always happens. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever someone asks about this thing, it's always the life story. Cause I mean, to be fair, half my life was dedicated to trying to make it somewhere like i'm 20 now 10 years is spent yeah. doing this so like i don't have much more to talk about in my life it's pretty much just been it's been this this so you know um, i guess it's yeah it's like that if you could start over from the beginning today mm. right what would you do differently or uh, no, sorry not today if you could start over like back then and but you mm. still have the knowledge that you have today what would you do different i would do what i've done up to this point, I wouldn't change my method because there isn't a method. Um, but I would have, I would have brought, I would have gotten myself a backbone better. Like I would have gotten a job that was more stable, and I would have stuck with it even if the boss did some terror trash. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, um, I, I just would have been smarter about life because I went so heavy into this that I'm still scared about it all falling apart and me just being like, "What the hell do I do now?" You know? Um. <laughs> It's so like, it's like you know Kermit I would have been the tea like fuck. yeah exactly I would have been I, I just would have been smarter about approaching it um I because you know doing it a second time I won't get as lucky I just don't believe it it's it, the timeline matches up with like me 30 my friends per, so insanely perfectly that like the butterfly of the butterfly effect could have knocked off my life like so far in a different direction it's insane like, like if somebody else had applied to or asked to be the editor of 30. It could have been as simple as like, I didn't just like to put it in perspective, right? Remember when I said the first guy didn't respond? If I never would have followed up on the, uh, the second time with a different, uh, with the other owner, mm -hmm. then like it would have never happened. So like, it's crazy how much could have changed. Just a tiny little change. Just the butterfly effect, man. It's, it's, it's crazy. So yeah, um, I would have been smarter about it. I'm rambling, but yeah, I would have been smarter about the way I approach things. Well, where do you see yourself in five years then? So like, you know what to do now. You have a plan. What's, what's your five year plan? I, I hate that. My five year plan. <laughs> um, my, 
uh, I, I don't know. It's just kind of um, keep going. I'm, go I'm taking it day by day at this point. Um, because if I think too far into the future, I'll get paranoid about it. Because I have. Because <laughs> uh, the thing is, like, even though things are smooth right now, things can always go unstable. So, um, I think in the future, in the sense that, like, yeah, this is long term. I, me and Thirty have no concern about this going away. But five years from now, I hope that I'm still doing it. But I, I have more of my own channel that is making its own rounds. You know, mm -hmm. um. I still intend on be doing what I'm doing though. Even editing for 35 years from now, I still see myself doing. So, yeah. Cool. Just cool. kind of keep going. So, what's your biggest advice for new creators, old creators, people in general? Be uh, stubborn <laughs> about it. You have to deal with a lot of YouTube's crap. You have to deal with a lot of Twitch's crap. Um, and you kind of just got to keep going. Expand yourself out. Like for example, me, I taught myself editing software, so. I have that opportunity to be an editing editor for YouTubers. Um, there's a lot of graphics designers out there that make their way designing for Twitch streamers or designing for YouTubers. Um, so, you know, every Titan needs a support system. That's yeah. You know, every big YouTuber. and, and push YouTube as much as you humanly can. If you're passionate enough about it, that's all you can do. There's no method. There's no like advice. I can say like, do this instead of this and this will work because that's not how the internet works anymore it's completely random the algorithm shines its light on you because you were shiny enough at the moment um so <laughs> it's it's just keep going do what you love doing i would say if you if there is a method start out in a niche community and do your absolute best to blow up as hum as like get as big as you can in that niche and then push out that is insanely hard i'm trying to do that now but i guess that's the only method you can do and if you're a twitch streamer um, Alpha Gaming says it perfectly. Get yourself up on a discoverable platform like TikTok, like YouTube, like Twitter. Blow yourself up somewhere that has an audience that can discover you and then push them over to Twitch. That's exactly um, and then, what I'm doing here. Yeah, yeah, and then your Twitch will grow because Twitch is not discoverable. Um, so, yeah, that's my, that's, I guess that's my advice. It's just, you're going to deal with a lot of crap unless you get lucky until, uh, until you get lucky. <laughs> um, so, Okay, you know, so, but but improve yourself. Don't don't think it's only luck. You got to work hard too. So last question before we go into a free for all. If you're lucky enough for the opportunity to be there. You can uh, take the opportunity. So yeah. Is your so, mic cutting out? That's my advice. I think your mic keeps cutting out. Can you hear me? Okay. Best. Oh, we're no. oh we were lagging for a second there. We're back. <laughs> okay, yeah. Discord was breaking a little bit because you you're, you were cutting in and out. I thought you stopped talking. <laughs> Oh, no, no, we're good. Yeah, Discord um, just went to sleep for some reason there for a second. We're good. Discord's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, yeah. We're professionals. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so, so last question before we go into a free-for-all where we just we ramble together because uh, I've been wanting to catch up with you for a long time anyways. Um, mm. If you weren't doing this, what would you be doing? Uh, just working retail. Uh, maybe go to college for, like, graphics design. Mm. Just kind of the board. Just kind of living a normal life. That's depressing. Um, yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> That's why I didn't do it. That's why I was so stubborn about it. Um, but yeah, cool. just the normal stuff. Go to college, get a job. You know. I, no, I don't know. I don't like it. No, nope. you're. you're saying, I don't either. You're, you're doing this, and if you ever hint at quitting, I am going to ride your ass. So hard. I don't think I'll ever be capable of fully quitting. I don't. I don't think it's possible <laughs> at this point. It's just part of me at this point. Dude, same. I mean, I've been yeah. doing this for so long, and I've I've gone ups and downs, and it's just like, mm, yeah, I can't I can't picture myself doing anything else really. Like, yeah, I really can't. One hundred percent, one hundred percent. So what else? So what are you streaming on Twitch now? So you're streaming like regular Minecraft? Or... Uh, just high pixel. The server playing mini games, uh, talking to chat. It's 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 really chill, but it's working to some degree. I just want to not be only a Skyblock streamer. Mm -hmm. So. I'm just doing what I can to expand out. I know if I start streaming other things than Hypixel, that community will leave me because I exist pretty much purely in the Hytale or in the Hypixel space right now, which is why Hytale is a good opportunity because it's being made by Hypixel. But um, <coughs> yeah, I just play Minecraft pretty much Hypixel <laughs> and occasionally the other game, but you know, another game, but mainly mainly that. So you're branching out slowly to you know kind of show the, everybody else. Are we lagging like, again? Uh, possibly. Are we? Can you hear me okay? Oh no, we are lagging. Oh lord. Uh, hello? Call him back real quick. Hello? Oh, 
Yep, it looks like Discord died. We're back. Discord's fed up with my bullshit right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've been in video check holes all day. What the hell's wrong with you? Um, <laughs> dude, that's one thing too. It's like they always talk about finding a niche and i think that's what i'm trying to do right now because yeah my, my niche was zombies and i i'm gonna be perfectly honest i don't enjoy zombies as much as i used to i never thought i would actually get bored of it but i straight yeah. up got bored of it i i feel that i my niche at the time was hightail and then hightail stopped i mean it's not the game is not out you can only you know ride that out for so long um and then i went to skyblock that was my my niche it was all high pixel but skyblock was like the game mode that i was stuck to I got bored. I, I tried expanding, and you know, and it was tough. Um, so I feel that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, it wasn't. <laughs> um, and that's the one thing too is with like. I'm like Brian Chain. I, I've narrowed down my niche to VR yeah. and like Realm Royale, and then I'm gonna like branch out into Minecraft a little bit because we're thinking we're thinking about doing a series on hmm. Pixelmon. Um, so I, I'm like I'm like kind of feeling out what <laughs> what games I actually enjoy streaming because once I do, that's it's that's that's it. That's gonna be my thing. Yeah, that's um, definitely the best way to approach. It, is kind of just worm your way about into something you enjoy love within that community and see what you can do with it um yeah yeah that's that's kind of the only way to approach it or just kind of shoot out and hope something happens <laughs> it's it's all random to be honest <laughs> yeah if really i mean it, it's random to a point you can you can control a lot and you can just slim make your chances better by putting out more and well, right. i'm trying to think of the analogy here but it's, it's basically it's like okay my analogy before was like you're 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 a train station hub right and you have mm. train tracks going to you. The more train tracks you have, the more chance of a big train coming to you, right? Right. So just having more yeah. channels and avenues. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm I'm kind of waiting for, a, I want to see, I really want to be, this is going to sound stupid, but I really want to be a Sea of Thieves streamer. Hey. But I don't the, have the yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. It's it's a place that, it's, it's got a community though. It does. and I That was, could be the perfect place to do it, yeah. Because I, I enjoy, like, the shit out of that game. It's just, like, but for anything to happen, you have to stream for, like, five hours. Yeah, that's the thing. And I'm just like... You, mm -hmm. you see Summit stream, and he's, like, sitting on a boat for, like, an hour just in the in the crouch emote or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. Just, he's just talking somewhere, and I'm like, I love the game, but I want to still be able to have, like, a, a high-paced game I can jump into, because otherwise I'm just going to get burnt out. Right, so, right. Yeah. And honestly, too, like, I... I it's weird over the last couple of months like i've been getting back into it and i realized like i just disappear and mm. it's not a good thing <laughs> yeah i used to do that a lot um yeah it's you know even if you're not making content you still need to be keeping contact with your friends online because it's like you know you just disappear and everyone's like where the fuck have you been you're like oh I yeah mm. yep <laughs> good yeah i do that it's yeah that's hard i i, I still do that yeah um like for my channel right i was like i'm gonna post more i'm gonna do this like a lot and then two weeks it's good it's been two weeks <laughs> since i posted a video <laughs> because i i it, you know it's whenever you tr shoot at something and it misses you kind of not motivated to do it again yeah um so yeah i feel that dude i've been there <laughs> i do that a lot oh lord it's so great yeah um yeah. well uh, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up but before mm. we end this episode where can everybody find you where can they watch your content where can they get just that uh, look up means? fezzy on youtube look up fezzy on youtube i'll be there i'll, I'll i should be first result hopefully um the, the the actual url isn't fezzy because i i sent it to horizon a while ago but um fezzy the frog on twi uh, twitch and twitter there, so you know if you really want to find me you can find me there bad all right, man. Well, thank yeah. you so much for being on the podcast. And to all the viewers, thank you so much for watching another episode of this podcast. Can we get to five podcasts? I think I think so. I, yeah, <laughs> I, I know so because I have a fifth person. Um, six, <laughs> can we get to six podcasts? If you guys want to watch me stream, all my links and socials will be down in the description below, as well as Fezzi's links and socials. Links and socials. Links to socials down below. Uh, I stream Monday, no, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot my schedule because I've been off for a week. Um, I stream Tuesday, Wednesday, 
Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, uh, around 5 p.m. in CT. Of course, make sure to follow Twitter and Discord uh, to get all the updates. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the I Am A Professional I Swear podcast, and uh, we still don't have an outro, so... Bye! Bye. <laughs>